Not a new phone, but Apple is now entering the banking business and offering a new credit card. Tonight, our I-Team is looking at the benefits and possible downsides to the Apple card. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles talked to experts and to Apple, and Jason is here now. Jason. Hi, Judy. Apple is starting to take some applications. The credit card will offer a cash back incentive with none of those annoying fees. But with so many choices out there, some banking experts say you should shop around before picking the Apple card. It's almost as pretty as their phones. Apple rolling out its new Apple credit card. Titanium, laser etched, and no number. That's right. She said no number on the physical card. For security reasons, the numbers will only be stored on the card in your phone's Apple wallet. It works with Apple Pay. So buying something is as easy as... And there are no fees, not even late fees. However, your credit is affected if you miss a payment. I like how there are no late fees and no sign-up fees. But is it worth the hype? We talked to Ted Rossman from CreditCards.com. So is it really worth it to get the Apple credit card? To be completely honest, you can get better rewards elsewhere. This card is really about people that love Apple. I think the best use case for it is if you buy a lot of Apple products, because that's the highest cash back rate they're going to give you. 3% cash back when you buy something from Apple. Apple Card gives 2% cash back on all Apple Pay purchases, but less when you use the actual card. You only get 1% elsewhere when you use the physical card. That really lags a lot of other cards on the market. But in a world of instant gratification, those rewards appear daily on your phone's Apple Cash Card, which is much like a debit card and peer-to-peer -peer pay service all rolled into one. You pay on your, on your phone is easier and you get more back, so I don't see why it's an over-inner, right? However, another consumer group, Wallet Hub, says the card should be avoided by anyone who doesn't pay their bill every month because of what it calls an unfavorable APR when compared to other cards. Apple says its card is competitive with interest rates of other cashback cards and that a less risky customer gets a lower interest rate. You can get cards with lower interest rates elsewhere. Apple saying they give fewer rewards on the physical card and more on Apple Pay because they want people to use their phones a more secure way to pay. The card also has technology integrated into your phone so you can see your spending habits and even map out your transactions. We have more information on the Apple Card and other cashback cards that you mm -hmm. can look at and compare on our website and our news app, abc7chicago.com. It's a lot to take in, okay? It's a yeah. lot, and that cash goes right to the card, oh, right yeah. away. Okay. That's something new. Okay. No waiting. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jason. <laughs>